Good morning, everybody. Right, today's shave, just a day's, day's growth. Another Trevor Wilson blade. Um, Trevor Wilson products. This razor I'm using today is um, Damascus steel. It's uh, hard to explain. It's a bajorkman, something like that. I'll show you the picture in a minute. So yeah, just a one day's growth today. I'm going to be shaving with this razor regular and then uh, I'll probably go for the seven day growth on the last on the last shave I do with that. I'm not really into oils and pre-shaves as I've said before but this uh, oil from Trevor is just a, it's the nice and vinegarating feel it gives you on your skin it really is nice and it's just it's like a very Relaxing actually. Relax with all your face, it's lovely. Right, so let's get the uh, lava on. Let's do that shave set again. Been using this soap quite a lot. Get to the bottom of this now. Not like me to get to the bottom of the soap. Got some more of these coming from Trevor with my new razor that he's making at the minute. Don't need much on there. Looks like a bit more, a bit more so. It's quite a hard soap this is. It's, uh, I'm not really into all, I don't know what tallows are, what the difference is in etc. But, but this is a quite a hard soap. Like I say, there's only a day's growth here, so we'll leave it quite thick today to give it more cushion. There's not much stubble for it to grab to. That should do. <coughs> Dry the hands. Pre-shave back. <clears throat> that's the name of the razor that's the name of the pattern that's the certificate if you can read that this one is a beautiful looking razor there she is look at the pattern on that 6 8 full hollow 20k edge Really, really, you, you can't deny that is one hell of a gorgeous razor. Right, let's just drop this a little bit. <clears throat> this is a 6.8, so it's a little bit more hollow ground than they are. One I've been using. Um, I say it's not quite as big, but it's big enough. Got a nice little finger notch there. Dead easy to hold this one is. Scales are nice and tight. Let's go. Like I say, not much stubble here, that's shaving easily. You can feel the hollowness in this one. Nothing wrong with that. <coughs> I 
always think you get a better test on a bit longer stubble, but this is a shaving knife. If you don't shave on a one day's growth, you've got no chance on the two or three. Been doing the long strokes for a change. Seems to work well for me as well. Still feeling nice. I did hone this myself, finish it up on the 20k. Spot on. Lovely. I did shave yesterday as well um, with the uh, RWL 34. Um, put that one away now, I'm using this, like I said. Um, that's a nice fit, first pass. I do, but I find this one easy to hold. It's a lot, not so long, I don't know why, it's just a bit more, fits my hand a little bit better. <clears throat> I'm not sure why, but. Obviously, different design. Snowing outside this morning. Forecast it. I didn't think it had really come that soon, though, but it has. Quite lucky Nottingham, we do get the snow, but where my shop is, where I work, it's only 20 minutes away, we're in a bit of a dip, we tend to miss it there. Um, but it does look nice and fluffy, it's not the horrible stuff, so kids all like it. <clears throat> yeah, this one, I can, it's just a bit shorter here to there, um, just seems to, seems to handle this one a bit better, but not, not no big deal. This edge feels good, I like it. Can't wait to uh, try it on a seven days grove. When my skin's had a real good rest. Cross the grain on this side. Yeah, I've definitely got a bit more grip with this one. Where that into it? Excuse me.
but you can feel the flex in this. Really nice. Very, very paper thin that is, paper thin. Yeah. I've got another one that's a square point from Trevor. That's a Vinland um, Damascus. I prefer the smiling edge, it's the straight edge, I'll, I'll use that soon soon on, on the video. Um, but that one sits in my hand really nice as well, really, really nice. I think it's just this steel type, this, it's got more grip than the polished creamy stuff. But I absolutely love these razors. I spend a lot of money on my car when it's souped up, modified, and I spent thousands on it. And I, I wasn't, <clears throat> well I was going to sell some of my uh, expensive phrases to help fund the car. The car's done now and uh, I don't need to fund, sell them razors now and I'm glad, glad I'm keeping them, I really am. In fact I've actually bought another one so, but I'm certainly not buying any more razors, I've got enough. <coughs> That'll be four wolf blades I've got then. This one's lovely, absolutely gorgeous razor. Come on. It's a very nice razor, love that. <coughs> comparison from the RWL34 steel and that Damascus steel both both felt to be honest with you very very similar I can't work it out if the Damascus one is just a slight little bit coarser but it's got a lovely feel lovely feel 
both hold the same anyway. But that was smooth, nice shave. Like I said before, I always get a nice shave when I've left it for, I mean, seven days shaves for me are outstanding. Absolutely uh, love it. It's just, I just don't want to wait seven days before I shave. I mean, there's definitely more sting there than after a seven day shave of, of this stuff. Definitely. And uh, that's the difference. You can see where my skin's a little bit, probably can't see it on the camera, but it gets a little bit blotchy. My skin just does not take everyday shaves that well. I can do two passes. It's a shame really, but um, it just, it's just a thick stubble, dense stubble, and I've got quite sensitive skin. So it's just the way it goes. You see these guys that shave every day, God knows how they do it, especially going up. Oof, it did murder me, that one. If I leave it for four days, I always get a really nice shave. Seven day shaves are absolutely superb. The difference is unbelievable. Anyway, that, that's the second wall blade that I've just used. There'll be more to come, and I'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day, and watch out for the snow.